Hello Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. I am Celeste TT Tarot and today we're going to be doing your soul, mind, and body alignment for January 2022. So first I want to say Happy New Year Sagittarius and we are going to talk about being present with yourself in order to align your mind, body, and soul for the trifecta unity um, for January 2022. This should hold you for the whole month. However, I will be uploading another video in uh, about two weeks. Probably once I get back from vacation. Um, and I know my Sedges love traveling. So I'll be going to the Bahamas. Yeah, the first time I told that too. For my birthday, I am a Capricorn. So we're going to go ahead and get started with your message. I'm going to pull the Soul, Mind, and Body cards from my New Orleans Oracle deck. Then I'm going to pull your um, two clarification cards from my... Hoodoo Tarot deck and then uh, some cri a crystal card for you for January 2022 to help you with this process. Okay, answers and spirits of divine guy Yahweh. Please guide this message for my Sagittarius out there. What do they need to know for their soul, mind, and body alignment to be present and live their best lives and their happiest lives for January 2022 and or this 2022 year, okay? So we're going to go ahead and get started. Messages for my Sagittarius. Messages for my Sagittarius. Okay. Messages for my Sagittarius. Messages for my Sagittarius. Okay. So this is your soul, Sagittarius. Your mind. And your body. And I put it in a triangle. For a reason here. I'm gonna go ahead with your clarification cards. This is my ancestral deck, one of the first decks that I actually got. Not even the Rider Way Tarot deck that the original tarot deck that everyone gets. I got this deck. This is very special to me. And those messages definitely hit. That's why I chose this deck for these messages for the signs. Okay. Two clarification cards for your soul, for your mind, and for your body. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start. So, for your soul, Sagittarius, right now the universe is tasking you with let loose. That is card number three. And what the universe wants you to know is Mardi Gras. Um, everyone knows that Mardi Gras is a celebration of all celebrations. If this card has shown up in your reading, that means it's time to let loose and forget all of the obligations that have been plaguing you, even if just for a few hours. Your ability to experience fulfillment and enjoyment in the moment has been compromised due to overthinking, managing life's obligations, and experiencing a lack of joy in your day-to-day -day life. This current imbalance has started to affect your generally positive outlook, and it's time for some revitalization. Cut loose, Sagittarius even just a little and see how much it positively affects your energy and overall outlook. Yeah, I had to throw your name out there. So that's card number three, your soul. You need to let loose. You need to have some fun, Sagittarius. And this is clarified by, we have here the world card and the ace of wands. So the world card indicates endings and new beginnings, um, ending of karmic cycles, um, so, Sagittarius, you're going through a transformation, a transition. Um, it's not the death card because that's more soul transformation. Um, but here we're talking about ending cycles in your life. So in that cycle of stagnancy, you've been feeling stagnant, being bored in your everyday life. The universe is granting you the ace of sticks here. It's the ace of wands, a divine grant of a passion, a new beginning passion, Fire energy is telling you to step into your fire energy so that you can set your soul free, Sagittarius. It's time to have some fun, okay? You've been handling business. You've been taking care of those obligations, doing what needs to be done. It is time to set your soul free. And setting your soul free is being present. Here in the world part, we have like gardening, traveling, going to see the world. That's such a Sagittarius thing. So stepping into your fire energy, into your natural power. Go travel, go see the world. Don't get bogged down by a day-to-day -day task. Um, of course, you have to be present, but you have to have to be present with your soul. And if your soul is calling out for you to let loose and go travel, well, dang on a Sagittarius, do what y'all do, okay? 
Okay, because my Sagittarius can find them a little quick trip. All right. Your mind right now is power, card number one. So this is a card keeps popping out for a lot of people, as well as that let loose, a lot of other signs here. So this is collectively resonating. So power, Marie Laveau. Marie Laveau was the epitome of power and grace within the community of New Orleans. Not only was she known as an astute businesswoman, but she was also the go-to person for the spiritual remedies of everyday life. If you have drawn this card, you have been called to embrace all aspects of yourself and rise to every equation with confidence. You are so much more than a mundane daily task that often bog you down. New opportunities will help you explore the different ways you can express yourself and feel more fulfilled. So once again, your mind focus on the day-to-day -day mundane task. You need to let loose, step into your power. And this is definitely a Sagittarius card. This is all fire energy. Step into your power, Sagittarius, so that you can enjoy life. And the clarification cards we have here is we have the courting card, which is the lover's card, and the Rider Waite tarot spread. Gemini energy can talk about choices in love. It can talk about um, a soulmate connection, intense, fiery, passionate connection. Um, and then we also have the seven of baskets, which can talk about... Uh, Choosing the wise option, options that you have in love. So some of you might be out there dating um, and, and or you are wanting to experience an intense connection, a soulmate connection with someone that inspires your passion and you want to check out your other options. Um, hey, this is a Sagittarius channel, so no judgment here. Some of you are in a mundane relationship and you want to go out there and see what else is out there because this relationship may give you calmness and peace but what you want right now is passion what your mind and soul right now are calling out for is passion and for you to step into your power or um i'm not advocating for nobody to lead their relationships that give you peace because i feel like soul mind and body alignment is all about being present and having peace and being comfortable with yourself and, and power can also indicate inspiring or, or checking out options to invoke that passion to re-inspire that passion and this connection because it's a soulmate connection is already intense so the passion is already there just check out your options explore other avenues because seven of baskets seven of cups is water energy about re-inspiring that passion re-invoking that passion into your love relationship okay because i ain't trying to have nobody be like she told me to go look at other people and i left my relationship and, and it didn't work out okay we're not trying to hear that so um if that's what you want to do you know what your soul wants to do you know what your mind is thinking of okay i don't control your thoughts i'm just telling you um i'm just the messenger here okay so that's where some of you guys are Take whatever it resonates. This is a general message for Sagittarius out there. And for your body, we have card number 19, Abundance. This also came out for Scorpio in the same position. So some of you could be also dealing with a Scorpio. We also have Gemini here as the major icon of so far that I see. And Abundance says... Uh, okay, because so some of you could be dealing with a Gemini or Scorpio or have that elsewhere in your chart. The fastest way to attract more abundance into your life is to first tap into your gratitude, which can reveal the many gifts that are already present. Although life may not always feel or look exactly the way you desire, there's always something to be thankful for. Recognizing these things, no matter how big or small, will help your vibration flow into attracting greater abundance. If this card has shown up in your reading, then you are on your way to manifesting a more abundant life through the practice of appreciation. Each day, take time to list a few things that you are thankful for and feel how your energy shifts into a more enjoyable way that would eventually lead you towards attracting more of what you desire in your life. And I'm telling you, Sagittarius, what you kind of desire is traveling and letting your soul loose. So we have abundance. It actually looks like the Ace of Cups, which is like emotional fulfillment. So taking this time to be grat uh, be uh, have gratitude for the things you already have. I'm sure you want to reach your heights. Sagittarius, you guys are always on the move, but take the time to appreciate what you have in order for the universe to call in more to you, because that's the trick. Those who, who are desperate 
and wanting more and always striving for more and chasing after it, the universe hides it from you. But if you want to manifest it into you, you have to be grateful and appreciative of what you already have so that the universe can give you more and more bless you more. And the clarification card we have, and I can't even make this up, we have the seven of six and the six of swords. Seven of sticks is fire energy. Talks, this is my stay in your ground card. Seven of wands in the right away uh, tarot spread deck. So we'll talk about standing your ground, being defensive, having your defenses up. Um, uh, so some of you guys are defensive to allowing this abundance to come in. Um, and because we are in uh, talking about your body alignment right now, some of you guys are defensive when it comes to maybe changing habits or maybe even being appreciative to where you currently are as far as your physical goals and health goals are concerned. Um, and it says uh, Six of Swords here is like going on a trip, moving things towards calmer water. So if there's any issues in your relationship that's affecting your health, um, it's time for you to move on, let those issues go so that you can heal. This is also, I look at it as a healing card, um, so that you can heal your body um, and stop being on your guard when it comes to that. Maybe some people make comments about your body and I do not adhere to body shaming. So, so maybe some people would make comments about your body that had you, make you, had you standing your ground, stepping into your Sagittarius energy, that fiery energy to defend yourself. Well, I'm here to tell you, Move on from that, Sagittarius. You're only hurting yourself. The universe will bless you um, with abundance. You will be abundant when it comes to any any of the goals, um, health goals that you set, physical goals that you set for yourself right now in 2022. So don't be so hard on yourself, okay? Just move on from that. Let it go because it's only hurting you and harming you. Um, get yourself self-discipline we have here. Stay in your ground against uh, yourself. Don't self-delude yourself. So if you know you need to be doing things or you set goals, um, make sure you're not allowing yourself to get away with that. Um, and if you do, you know, don't be hard on yourself at the same time. Um, so learn how to balance those two. You know, definitely stay your ground about what goals you set. But if you mess up, it's okay, okay? Move on and keep going forward, okay? Because the universe is bringing that abundance in for you as far as your body or health goes and or health goes. And uh, overall energy we have is focus, okay? That is card number 20 here. And that says, everything is energy, including your thoughts. Think of your thoughts as different cars driving by. You have somewhere that you need to travel to. Travel to. Okay, so I can't make this up. Travel. You have somewhere that you need to travel to. Okay, this is all resonating here. You have somewhere you need to travel to. Um, and you have the uh, choice of any vehicle that passes. Would you want to get into every car? Or would you select the one that seems the best equipped to get you to your destination? Every thought can be a step either towards forward movement or stagnation. This card came up in your reading is because you must pay attention to where you allow your focus to lead your thoughts. Being aware of where you put your energy mentally and emotionally will enable you to create a more self-empowered journey. And it's time to not only realize that you have a choice about where you focus your energy, but also to see how those thoughts are affecting your energy. So focus, Sagittarius, and the clarification cards the universe has for you on focusing is we have here the mother of swords and the six of wands so the mother of swords is a uh, queen of swords in the regular red, red, right away tarot spread deck excuse my dog he decided he wanted to bark right now during Sagittarius so he's he's uh the universe is guiding him to say yes 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 okay so the mother of swords um, is a wise, intelligent um, queen. It's the queen of swords. Um, she has been through a lot of things, but those things, hardships have made her wiser, um, made her make, uh, she typically makes head over her decisions, um, logic, reasoning. So the universe is tasking you um, with focusing by 
standing your ground, you know, not letting anyone emotionally manipulate you. You are wiser, you are intelligent, you are smart, you are logical. And we also have the six of sticks. This is fire energy, talks about victory, reward, recognition. So all that work that you put into and all those hardships that you went through, Sagittarius, you will be successful. You will be victorious. Look at this person riding in on their horse. This is fire energy, your energy, also Leo and Aries energy. So you could be dealing with any of those signs. Um, however, I, the only major arcana I do see is um, right now is just Gemini. So uh, you will be victorious, Sagittarius. Just make sure you focus, okay? Focus. And we're going to pull your crystal card for you. So, this is Venus. Crystals for my Sagittarius. What crystals do my Sagittarius need? Crystals for my Sagittarius. Okay. Crystals do you need for Sagittarius? All right, we have the emerald. Everyone is getting this card. So love, abundance, and unity. Um, so the emerald is one of the cards that the universe is tasking you with getting it, um, with acquiring, and this will help you for this uh, focus, letting loose, and power in your mind. So uh, freedom, uh, mind power, as well as abundant with your physical goals so you can focus. Um, and it reminds me of this abundant card right here. So this might help you in your health and physical journey um, and your goals. And then the card, the crystal we have on the under the deck is we have insight, clarity, and divine plan. So that's Afghanite. So the universe is also tasking you with getting both emerald and Afghanite. Um, so Sagittarius. This is your message for today. Thank you for visiting my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys or see you guys later.